This week's show is sponsored by Local Coffee. Hey guys, today is Monday, November the 15th. I'm your host, Moses Rangel, and you're watching The Quickie Show, where we scour the web to bring you a recap of the local news right here in San Antonio. We're on location at Local Coffee, where we're bringing you the best brew of this week's past top stories. Let's check them out. In honor of Veterans Day, Southwest Airlines unveiled a new art exhibit at the San Antonio International Airport, reports the San Antonio Business Journal. The exhibit was created by Kevin Kincaid using donated items from Southwest Airlines employees and their families. The exhibit will be open through November the 22nd. Mayor Castro and U.S. Representative Charlie Gonzalez were on hand for the dedication. News Talk 930 KLUP reports that three Bengal Tigers will be moved from a private sanctuary here in San Antonio to Pittsburgh, North Carolina. The Tigers named Bailey, Titan, and Java will be moved from the Wild Animal Orphanage to the Carolina Tiger Rescue Facility. The Board of Directors for the Wild Animal Orphanage here in San Antonio opted to close down their business back in August because of overpopulation, little funding, and inadequate housing. In university news, news4woai.com reports that UTSA is joining the Western Athletic Conference. UTSA's Roadrunner football program will be led by former head coach of Miami, Larry Coker, who won the 2001 BCS National Championship. The WAC Conference is a great conference for UTSA to get involved with. Recently, 31 teams since 2001 have been to BCS Bowl games. KSAT 12 News reports that the Blue Wing Solar Project is online. This is the latest renewable energy project from CPS and is 113 acres of solar panels, which is the largest solar farm in Texas. This is a part of CPS's 2020 vision, which calls for 20% of its power to come from clean, renewable energy. And finally, in sports, Project Spurs reports that James Anderson has been injured with a stress fracture to his fifth metatarsal. Guard Garrett Temple has been waived from the team, which leaves room for small forward Alonzo G, who turned heads in the Spurs Summer Roundup program. And that concludes this week's top stories. For this week's Director's Pick, we're talking about America's Recycle Day, which happens to be the day. Did you know that the fastest category of waste is e-waste? What is e-waste? Well, think about all the electronics that you have laying around your house. Now think about what it takes to make those components, like metals, mercury, and lead. Now, we don't want those ending up in our landfills or in incinerators, so let's do our part and recycle or donate these items. And that's this week's Director's Pick. Hey guys, this week's Quickie Show is sponsored by Local Coffee. Now, I live in the area and it's a really convenient place for me to go from the typical uh, coffee shops. And what I love most about this is they it's very warm and inviting. They won the San Antonio's Reader's Choice. They were voted the best in the city by San Antonio Magazine's November issue. Uh, I'm drinking black tea right now. You can come and get whatever type of coffee you want. The beans and, and the selection is just incredible. Uh, Robbie, the owner, is such a, a person person I really enjoy spending some time with him you guys want to come out here they have open mic night uh, every other Friday night and they have some really cool art to showcase and so if you're ever in the area off of Santerra and Stone Oak Boulevard you're gonna to want to check out local coffee people of the 210 this is Uncle Daddy Hot Nichols in the place to be <laughs> I'm bringing you this week's Quickie Show Word of the Week. Do you want to know what it is? Well, boys and girls, this week's Quickie Show Word of the Week is Tanaro. What's Tanaro? Tanaro is tonight or tomorrow. Let me give you an example. Hello? Nah, girl, I told you tonight. And that's how you use this week's Quickie Show Word of the Week. I told you never to call me at this number right now. And that concludes this edition of the Quickie Show. Remember to email us your comments, questions, or story submissions to fans at quickieshow.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash quickie show. You can even follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and MySpace. Well, that's all the time that we have. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Quickie Show.